Thank you for uh, watching an, another tutorial video uh, and, and on the DIS uh, microphone system. Um, having set up the interpreter consoles and the microphones, I just thought we'd run through a few more features uh, of the CU and uh, these particular microphones that we have here. What we've got here is when these are used as part of an interpretation system, uh, they've got channel selectors built in. So you have a headphone socket here, volume control, and then you've got a channel selection here. Now these systems can be shared, so there's actually two on each uh, microphone base, so that's enough for two delegates here. You got, um, and you also have the displays can show uh, floor, and uh, if I went along, uh, we've got, uh, let me see now, we can do the channel, oh, sorry, the volume control, I apologize. So we've got floor, then you've got ARB for Arabic, and then we've got uh, ENG for English, and then back to the floor. So people can see what channel they're on. This microphone base is slightly more uh, um, menu driven. So you have the push the menu, audio, and then you can see your channel selection here. So if I press that button, we've got Arabic, English, uh, yeah, English. Uh, Arabic and uh, back to floor and then we have the uh, the volume control here which is all touch sensitive and then you go back to your main menu here so that's all good on that one now this system is self-contained in so far as that the the PA can come through the uh, the loudspeakers in the bases here um, and here and also you can take an output from the CU to run through to a larger uh, PA system. There's various uh, menu driven uh, options with regards to this. So you've got uh, in, in the audio menu, if you go back to so audio menu, you've got loudspeaker volume, line out volume, microphone to loudspeaker volume, microphone to line out volume, uh, line in to loudspeaker so that's when you've got a, another input coming into the system and you want it to go through to the loudspeakers in the microphones um, and you've got line in to line out so that's if you want to have the line input coming in and then going through to the PA system as well um, so you can do that if you want you can switch that off so say for instance if you're using this for uh, a, a teleconferencing system you could have that switched out so that uh, you, it's not contributing back to the line out, which is going through to the codec, going to your uh, remote site, uh, but it's still coming through uh, here. So it's not, it won't create a, a, a feedback loop. Uh, standard line in level adjustment, uh, loudspeaker volume adjustment for the loudspeakers in the bases, line out volume, so that's the, the, the connected PA volume as well. So there's all those options there. And you can have uh, one line in on this particular CU and one uh, output on the CU. And they are connected using uh, your standard XLR connectors. So that just about wraps up the CU. And uh, we hope these tutorials have been helpful. Many thanks.